Is na nedig shachta di darig le truer kerpach as Canada slad gashkiul i yenver vankna o Montreal gdi Miami. Har treif shi dem liana gud Paddy Mitchell, Stephen Reid agus Lionel Wright os gyan kuig diag million dollar as precious kiad the had vank. Ach mi man for nedig achto yerigan town eren stopwatch gang. The three characters involved in this story are three of the most unusual human beings. They were all very pleasant, funny, fun, engaging, intelligent people. And that's what makes this such an unusual story. I have a name of Paddy Mitchell, Igmarach, and Ro Hale. Chonig sé lena van chéile Joanne agus lena wacó go dig vrár imel na carrach. Áiter lig sé ar hén gur fár díol a chónig vión. Ach an oidh iad é, bí sé cábha chodama sa Bell Clare Tavern agus a saon a chasta don chiadhúir le Lionel Wright agus Stephen Reid. I thought the world of him right away, and uh, we became very close. He was always really well dressed and well heeled and very soft spoken and and, and just a, a very charismatic guy and and. Absolutely, someone that I, you know, me as a young, up-and-coming criminal looked up to. Started going to jail when I was 16. A lot of petty th crimes, a lot of drugs. Uh, it was the 60s, uh, you know, the period of LSD and those kind of things. And then quickly found harder drugs and and harder times, and became sort of a, a professional criminal at about 18 or 19. I started uh, throwing banks up in the air and went to jail at 20 for 10 years uh, for a series of bank robberies in Toronto in Ontario. Um, escaped in 73. That's when I met and hooked up with Patty Mitchell and eventually Lionel Wright. Lionel Wright was a very shy young man. Uh, he grew up as a, a, an A student, also grew up in, in uh, the Canadian capital. He was very quiet, he was very introverted, but he was also brilliant, and he was a details guy. Lionel's five foot six, maybe, you know, 130 pounds with rocks in his pockets, and never says a word, you know, he's, he's as solid as his floor we're standing on. He's the most fascinating guy in the world. He's just dependable, and he could remember the license plates of a car from two or three years ago. He could remember birth dates of old aliases, and so he was perfect that way. And he was always really well organized, where Patty and I both had the same, you know, sort of flamboyant kind of attitude of both careless with our money and the details of our lives. So he's really, you know, he was a caretaker of us, too. <laughs> Stopwatch gang, Tassi Rubel, it is a medical. Hooks of Fidar and Narrow, ain't young on the bunch killing the echo. Could it cost Kerrela Corbett? Not Maconocher into. I guess I know Kedron is yet, who Lionel Wright, Stach, Eliaurlan, Porsche Eliaur, Edinish, Kerry, Le Cor, Hedigimot, Not Maconocher into the Shranga, Oil, because at the Hangle Him Political, because Marshall was Marshall, Legavetti, and Cor of it. Bach an chrinis ki an isio cura a vaim freshen, agus an vwyn a gagru a gud rohir er vwynk. Paddy would plan this out second by second, and Lionel would know how many steps it was from the curb to the bank, to the teller, to the vault. All of those things they would plan out methodically. First place that you find are the police stations. And then you start looking for accessibility, mostly for approach. We can park here, we're off the street there, police station's a mile and a half away, and then you leave it all and go to another city and do the same thing, and then you leave that all, and you come back, and then, then we all sit together and talk. Okay, with that, that one, uh, that Bank of America up on Wilshire has that back entrance, and they've got six tellers, that central teller has all the hundreds, so okay, we'll go with that one. <laughs> Majority of our scores, we would use a full-on mask, dead president's masks, and you know, full sort of Darth Vader, you know, kind of costuming things. 
One of them would always wear a stopwatch, supposedly to time this thing to the second. And usually it was Stephen Reed. And then half the time, Stephen Reed even forgot to start the thing in all of the excitement. But what it did do, of course, is it told the FBI every time these guys would show up on the bank film, oh, it's the stopwatch gang. <laughs> Their notoriety, in fact, came from the stopwatch and also the size of the robberies that were taking place. These guys were, were routinely doing $100,000, $200,000 uh, uh, robberies. And the more they did, the better they got. They made 12 or $15 million over you know, a few short years and, uh, um, and went through it, I mean, literally. When we'd go to Las Vegas and we'd lose so much money in the casinos and spend so much money just partying. I mean, you could never pick up a bill or, you know, bar tab or buy a drink or anything when you're around us. Lionel never really had any habits, even gold watches. You know, he'd spend like 20, 30,000 on a gold watch. But the guy would worry about everything. One time we had so much money we didn't know what to do with it. And I looked at him and I said, Lionel, what a nice problem to have, huh? Put on your red shoes. As they adopted to life on the run, there were tensions among them, and usually it was Patty uh, that was causing the tensions. Patty loved to party, and uh, he loved the girls. He loved the idea that he could just be anybody that he invented on the spot, and now he had the money to sort of go along with the act. The problem with that was that the more lies he told, the more that someone was likely to become suspicious if they noticed something wrong with one of his lies. Lionel and I'd get really pissed off at Patty, running around smoking cigars and bringing attention because we were just kind of settling down. And Patty and I, when we got to America, we kind of switched places. He became the, the hardcore partier, and I had a girlfriend, and I wanted the domestic, the thing that he'd had before, which was a marriage and a son and sort of, a, you know, just the quiet domestic place to go to in life. So they decided to do one last big score, and they went back down to uh, San Diego. Uh, and they planned what became um, the biggest bank robbery in California's history at that time. Artigan Buyan and Bank of America, San Diego, or Rob Oil, Lilling Shalla de Hardigat Hirim, Agar Armorha. Marial and Hall of Year and Stopwatch Gang, Vis Lawn Dol Ida Henny's Gare, Monk and America, Agas Viesigan Buyan, Nah Hen Rob Oil, Him Pleavachansa. On the Russia, Donach Paddy Mitchell Tava Mud and Wang, Agar Elehe. Als er weg riet, ist Sprite TV Stieg, kann ein Plan nach Regrieg. Stephen Reed und Lionel Wright went into the bank dressed as two businessmen. Slightly odd looking businessman. Uh, Lionel had a, a goatee, glasses, a long blonde wig on, uh, and a, a pale suit. Stephen Reed was um, sort of lounging in the loans department in a, a natty blue suit, but he had a, a very thick uh, black beard, mustache, and it was kind of a, this nose and a pair of glasses protruding from a lot of hair. Unfortunately for them, on that particular day, uh, the armored truck delivery was late. We had to sit in that bank for quite a while, close to 20 minutes. I don't know how anybody let me sit there for 25 minutes looking the way I did. Finally, the truck arrived. The guard brought in a, a trolley full of coin. And then uh, finally, after about three trips, taking the, the mother load out, which was $283,000 in cash in three bags. It was a very, very quick robbery. We were out of there quite quickly once it kicked off. From the time we threw the bank up in the air till the time I walked out the door was like 10 or 15 seconds, but we had been in the bank about 20 minutes. Hugh Reed was right to make a man who had $8 million million. And Rob Allbank was more than a great California economy. 
Dairiglish and Buena Eluogas has neither Dean of a clear Rashgar as owner. Ah, in an effer, you know their button cost us. Hockershed on Festus Brege, if I had to be Orub, a Hahestag, a Shanlory, Brusket, if we gargle off. As bad luck would have it, a homeless person going through the dumpster found the bank bags and thinking that there might be a reward, took them to the police. And from those bank bags, the police had uh, the first set of fingerprints of two members of the uh, stopwatch gang. They got evidence from that robbery, but they still didn't know who they were after. They had nothing. They couldn't link it to anything. And then they got an informant, uh, a guy who we knew from Canada. He got caught up in a meth lab up in Borrego Springs, and uh, he said, um, he traded us. He said, uh, I'll give you the stopwatch gang. And they jumped, they jumped all over that. Near Vada Gurevisig Napoleon, car even stopwatch gang. Agasar in Truchahenu law, the year four Nady Gochto, Gauder Stephen Reed, Agas Lionel Wright in a bowl folly in Arizona. Ach near of Tost, not tourish the Fatty Mitchell. Lan Mitchell Araig, Robal Bankana, a Rovli and Nistiani. Hanach Napoleon is stacher than Ur Yernach, and Gashashen Chadela da Hail and Gaven. Kalig Brizuna, Sivlian Hovilis a shacht. We Lionel Wright a diddle parole and Edigan Ocha Kahir. Ach we shame a head dahi or Hail and Frizun, Agus Hokrik Chef and Nachts a Horus Prizun, a Gober Marchlerach. Hosnik Stephen Reed extreme order Lilling a Gaven, Agus Dalchik Shay Lauer call you Livy Bonhe at a Hail Hain, Marobali Bank. Agus a street and screen order to cast Stephen Reed Lishan Vanna Fosachshe, on Phila, Susan Musgrave. Well, I, I got Stephen's manuscript, I think it was in the fall, in fact, I read it on Halloween of 1984. And I wrote to him the next day, and I probably said, would you marry me? The second day I wrote. Then we met and began visiting, and we fell in love, and, and we decided to marry in prison. I got out to May, May of 87. We moved into a little cottage by the sea and had a great life for about 10 years. And then uh, I lit my life on fire again. Got back into drugs and stuff and committed a bank robbery by myself that was terrible. And I got another 18 years and I just finished that. Did 10 of that. And for whatever reasons of her own, my wife stayed with me. I'm so happy that I can be with him and when he is well and functioning, because a lot of our life has been pretty turbulent. Because I do get very angry when I see him returning to any kind of addictive behavior because I because I'm really threatened by it, because it's the fear is that he'll be lost to me again. <laughs> 